A complete computer guide. Hi, welcome you all in my channel. As you know, I am Dhananjay. Today I have come with a new topic or third video of uh, QBasic. In this video, I will explain about variable and constant. Viewers, if you have not seen at my previous videos, then please first watch those videos. Then uh, this video will be easy for you to understand. Viewers, uh, in this Q basic series, I will explain about everything, every keyword, every syntax, everything. Means if you have learned and if you have watched my all videos, then. Uh, it will be easy to write program on QBasic and you will be perfect in QBasic and you have no any problem. So viewers, please hit subscribe button and like, share and also don't forget to comment. If you have any problem in any videos, then please comment there. I will explain that and I will solve your problem. Okay, now let's start. The topic is variable and constants. So here you can see that uh, variable and constant at the topic. And now I'll explain first variables. So what is variable? How can you use variable? And how you know that it is variable? And how you know that it is value or other things? So first of all, I will show you one example. Just you can see here. Here a equals four. That means a value has assigned on a variable. Means a is a variable and for it's a value. So here a four has assigned on a. Means a value has assigned on a variable. Means if uh, a value of uh, a has uh, changed during the program execution time then it will be called what variable means it is changeable means first it is 4 but later it can be changed into 5 6 7 8 etc so during program execution it is changeable in that case you can say that it is a variable so in clear definition you can write that the data item whose values are changeable during the program execution time is called variable Means its value is changeable. I hope you have cleared it. Now in variable, we will read first naming rule, uh, rules for naming variables. Means there are different rules for write the variables. Means you cannot write your expect. Means you cannot write anything other than rule. So you must follow the rule uh, to choose the name of variables. So here uh, you can see some points are here so that once explain about how how can we put the name of variable so first point is here you can see every variable in a program should have a unique name means every variable in a program which variable you have chosen here in a program that must be unique name means you cannot choose any types of other name that is uh, others uh, in a program that is already means uh, same name you cannot use means uh, you have used uh, 5 value 5 4 it is but in same name then that is wrong so you must know about it that every variable in a program should have a unique name second is any variables name may be up to 40 characters long means if you, you are writing variable name then that uh, must be within a limit that is 40 characters long you cannot use more than 40 characters means variable name must be within 40 characters and third is variable name must begin with a letter a to z means variable names must begin with a letter that is a to z with um, we can use variable name uh, that starts with a to z means we cannot start the variable name with another number etc Four point is cannot use keywords and commands for variable name means keyword 
what is keyword keyword means that thing which is which has already defined on the our program means here in QBasic also there is input let print etc that that is the keyword means that keyword you cannot use as a variable names understood that is key that means keywords and commands don't use as a variable name other point is saying that cannot contain characters other than letters, number, period, and type declaration. It means which character you have used for variables that characters uh, cannot be other than uh, letters, numbers, periods, and type declaration. It means uh, period means that symbols and type declaration here just dollar sign and here other it. Uh, percent has m percent and explain uh, exclamation point so you cannot use characters other than numbers letters period and type declaration other which cannot begin with fn values it is a function unless it is a function call in that case you cannot use fn if that is uh, not a function call means only in function call we can use fn but uh, in other case we cannot use fn as a variable name so i hope you have cleared all it all points six points is here now now i'll explain about variable declaration what do you mean by variable declaration so here are some points variable should be declared with variable name and data type means variable variable should be declared with variable name means you must put a name of variable and must there is data types data type means either integer single precision data types double precision that is assigned by this sign like dollar percent streak and ampersand percent and explanation mark so other is declaring name and data type is called variable declaration means it is also definition of variable declaration when you put the name of variable and uh, also declare its data type in that case only we can say that it is variable declaration means name and data type both are necessary for a variable name uh, in QBasic, variables are declared in two ways, that is implicit declaration and other is explicit declaration. So here uh, I am showing you some examples and uh, by this example will be clear. So first see that example 1 and here example 2. So here you can see in our example 1 variable name, variable name and its type is declared using the dim statement so what the dim statement i will uh, say later you can think that dim is just only to define uh, into data type means it is used to define data type previously using the program means before using the program so uh, here variable name x and its type integer is uh, declared So here at first you can see that variable name x and its uh, type integer is declared first means D has done it uh, and then uh, its value 100 is assigned on it. So you can say that by this way declaring the variable name and its type before using it is called explicit declaration means when you explain when you declare the variable names so you know that you must declare the variable name in your program but when you declare the variable name before using that uh, variables on program it's called explicit declaration so you can say that example one is the example of explicit declaration now let's look at the second example in second example you can see here this percent sign has given that means percent sign indicates it is an integer here also uh, variable has declared but 
नॉट बिफोर द प्रोग्राम मीन्स विथ इन प्रोग्राम इट हैज डिक्लेयर इन दैट केस यू कैन से दैट इट इज इम्प्लिसिट डिक्लेरेशन इफ यू हैव एनी कन्फ्यूजन हेयर देन यू कैन राइट दैट यू नोट दैट एंड देन यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड इफ इन दैट केस ऑल्सो यू हैव नॉट अंडरस्टूड देन प्लीज कॉमेंट एंड देन आई विल क्लियर दैट प्रॉब्लम सो अंडरस्टूड दैट आई होप यू हैव अंडरस्टूड इम्प्लिक डिक्लेरेशन एक्सप्लिक डिक्लेरेशन for today this much only in next video uh, i will uh, explain other topic of uh, q basic till then wait and keep watching my channel and thank you for watching my video